Hello folks, uh, today this is uh, 2021, October, November, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 15. It is about the ch chapter of forces, uh, and it is particularly deals with uh, a thrust. It says, a metal cylinder totally immersed in water is hung from a Newton meter, Newton meter here. A cylinder of a height L is slowly raised vertically by lifting the Newton meter, so we lift it, it also rises. As the base of the cylinder moves from line X, from line X, uh, in the water to line Y above the surface of uh, the water. So that means that this cylinder will be, uh, ultimately it will be like this. Ultimately it will be like this, like this, like this. So this will be the final position of the cylinder. The reading on the Newton meter is recorded. The velocity of the cylinder is constant, velocity constant. Which graph best shows the variation of R with the distance D of the base of the cylinder from X? So as it moves from x d is uh, varied d varies so we have to find the variation of r so let's uh, first remember that the reading r recorded by the newton meter will be it is the resultant weight here and that's equal to the real weight of the thing which is uh, fg fg minus uh, fu fu is the up thrust the real weight should be fg minus fu now the upthrust force here will be somewhat like this upthrust force is equal to mass of liquid displaced into g mass of liquid displaced into g that's equal to uh, volume of liquid sorry density of liquid into volume of liquid displaced into z and that's equal to volume is equal to cross section area a a into l a into l <coughs> Uh, then it is uh, rho of liquid into this g now when <coughs> so when it is uh, gradually uh, when this thing starts to immerse then <coughs> we don't have full l here so at that time we'll have to make it as x but for now for the time being it is like this now when it is fully immersed in water fully immersed in water we have got a rho is high so inside water inside water inside water water this uh, rho is high high so f u is high is high so inside water f u is high that means r is less r is less so inside water r is less then outside water outside water water we have got uh, uh, rho will be rho will be less because it is air outside that's why F U will also be less and it gives us, it gives us R will be equal to high. R will be equal to high. So inside water R less, in outside water R high and they both will be constant. So this will be constant because uh, the medium is uh, fully, fully water, water, water outside. So R should be constant and also R should be constant. It's because this air will be air, 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 air same outside water. That's why this uh, rho is constant and fu constant, r is constant. So inside and outside also, r might be less or high, but they should be constant. So that means, that means here r is varying. This is wrong. Here also r is varying. This is wrong. So r constant, constant uh, inside water, r constant inside water, r constant outside water, r constant outside water. So these two things qualify. These two things disqualify. Now, when we act further, now what I have is R is equal to R is equal to F G minus A L rho L G equal to equal to I'll arrange the equation as minus A rho L G then L plus F G R equal to. So now when this is partially immersed, let it become X. Let us say it is Y. So it'll be equal to minus a rho l g y plus f g so now the graph will be if this is uh, in y axis if this is in x axis then i have got this as the slope and this as the intercept so that means the graph should be a straight line the graph should be a straight line with some intercepts so if it is straight line then our c should be correct and d should be incorrect the only difference is what is happening is it has it is having negative slope so it is happening because 
how do we consider it as a, first we measure it in air and then we take it inside water this graph would have reversed so that means this would have been here this would have come like this and like this so here we have got to uh, reading from opposite to in opposite way so that's why it has been like this so that's why the graph uh, the slope will be a rho lg the only difference is plus and minus here so that's why choice number c should be the proper graph for this equation